Okay, folks. As you can see, I'm here at the Oakley North Little Rock uh, yard, about to enter into the truck wash. It's about 7.30, that's when they open. I camped out here last night so I could be first in line. I'm gonna get the whole shebang. I'm gonna get my truck washed, trailer washed inside and out. And then I'm gonna call dispatch and we'll see what we got. You can see he's motioning me in. I haven't gotten a wash from here in uh, a few months. And there's already about seven trucks behind me. Okay guys, so just about done here at the truck wash. You see there's the driver's lounge over there. There's the old office building. You can see they're doing some demolition over there. I've, I've heard they're gonna be expanding the shop facilities. So, uh, but here's the truck wash. Got a three bay truck wash. And uh, they're almost done with me. I'm getting a full service here has cleaned the truck they're doing the outside of the trailer and they washed out the inside of the trailer so i'll be in good shape till i go to the next dusty customer <laughs> so uh still i think they're done just uh, still working on the outside of the trailer but uh that's what we got and uh then uh, when I'm done, I'll probably just go over there into that parking lot and uh, lift my trailer up a little bit and let it drip dry for a while. Still don't have a load, so uh, hopefully something will surface pretty soon. Okay guys, so it's about 8.30. I'm just uh, parked here in the Oakley yard. There's the driver's lounge, there's the truck wash. There's the main office, just giving you a look. I just parked here and I've got my trailer raised a few feet just to let more water drain out the back. While I'm waiting on a load, you know, I called Man Manuel again a few minutes ago and he still got no loads. I don't know, never seen it this slow. So there's, there's the freshly washed trailer. You can see it's still got some wetness on the bottom the floor but that'll be dried up here in about 15 or 20 minutes as hot as it is so I, I also pulled up to the shop on the bay where they do the inspections on the trucks and because uh, I've had a hydraulic leak here out of my uh, wet kit tank uh, it's been that way for months just a minor leak so I had them check it they uh they didn't have time to dig into it a lot right now but he did they did check my fuel hydraulic fluid level you know this thing holds 30 something gallons and it was a couple of gallons short so they put put some more fluid in there just to make sure i'm good on fuel having it leak and all but they said to try to call ahead sometime and, and come in on a wednesday or thursday or friday when it's a little slower and they'd get it looked at and, and repaired mondays and tuesdays today being tuesday are their busiest days over there because that's when they bring in the new drivers that are here for orientation and get their trucks in inspect them put wet kits on blower kits that sort of thing so uh anyway i'm just sitting here waiting on a load assignment hope they come up with something soon i mean geez it's that way sometimes. So, uh, there's old Phil. Phil is one of the drivers that uh, does strictly local stuff. 
Uh, you know, he does a lot of barge work. Looks like he's doing scrap metal today. There's a place about three miles from here where we do a lot of scrap metal loads. They'll pick up and uh, bring over here and dump onto a barge over there. You can see that yellow arched thing there. Uh, that's that's one spot where they'll dump into a barge. You can see another one way down there. There's one there. There's like six of them, I think. So, uh, that's what's going on. I'm just waiting on a load. Okay, folks, I finally got a load. It's about 10.35, Tuesday morning. I've been uh, waiting here at the Oakley Yard for like three hours. They finally got me a load picking up some urea right here at the yard going about 85 miles south of here to another Oakley port facility. <laughs> oh, I hope this load pays percentage of the load and not miles. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what's going on with the freight, but it's definitely uh, been dead. So anyway, Getting a load of urea. I think I did one of these loads a little over a week ago. So we're gonna pull up here under the chute. That's probably my loader right there. He likes to start in the front. I'm gonna pull up to where this cone uh, is a little bit front of center. do it let me give him his paperwork and we'll get started here okay so I'm in position here waiting on the loader to get started and I just saw Robert going around he's working on a barge load so he just cranked up the conveyor there now you've probably seen this before he'll uh, just dump it into this hopper with his front end loader and it conveys up into the trailer. He'll honk at me when he wants me to pull forward, then he'll start dumping into the back. So I'll show you this real quick. It's a pretty quick load, probably only take 10 or 12 minutes. If this battery will last, I'll show it to you. Let me, uh, open the door here nice clean trailer all right there he goes dumping in the first dump and he'll start conveying up into the trailer and there it goes urea I'm gonna back up a foot so I won't hit that bar there. All right, boys and girls. So I got loaded, that's a quick load. I'm gonna head out the back gate here at the Oakley North Little Rock Yard. Give you a shot of the back lot here. So there seems to be a lot of uh, local barge work going on today, but otherwise, freight's pretty slow. I talked to talked to two guys back there uh, one of which was in my uh, orientation class James and uh, he both of these guys were picking up loads here in North Little Rock but they can't pick up till afternoon and uh, both of their loads go now one of them goes to Jackson Tennessee which I did yesterday and one goes up to Troy Missouri which is a better road Let's see here, we got a train. I think I can go around the train here. Oakley coming out the back. Oakley coming out the back gate. You have to announce your entry and exit into this uh, spot because uh, it's kind of tight. Yeah, I can get around this That's train. Not that gate. 
Let's see. Got traffic coming. Anyway, we're going down to Pendleton, Arkansas, uh, which is down around Dumas. Okay, guys. So we're arriving here in what they call Pendleton, Arkansas. Supposedly about half a mile from this place. The Arkansas River's over here to the left. There's a bridge that goes across the river there. Never been down here before. Supposedly there is a Oakley facility down here somewhere. I'll pick this up when I find it. Okay, I got a truck passing me here. So hopefully this is where I'm supposed to be, although it says Riceland. The address says I'm uh, I'm here. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to be here. Well, let me pull over here, walk up here and see where these people need me to be. Okay, well, a nice lady came out of the office there and told me I needed to go on down past this uh, little patch of woods and it'd be on the right. So let's do that. Pendleton Warehouse. And then over here, uh, well, I'm looking for signs to point me to the right place. Um, there's a guy over here to my right pointing me to keep going further. <laughs> on this post it says dump one to the right dump three and four scales to the right so uh, I guess we'll try that well here's some scales but uh, I'm going to go into this building and see uh, if there's anybody in there Okay, the nice lady in there told me to get on these scales here and then go in the back door. So let's try that. It says, do not tarp. I was just reading some of the signs on the door there. I haven't taken off my tarp or anything. 
Just trying to find out where I'm supposed to be. All right, so now we're on the scale. Let me go inside. Okay, well, another nice lady uh, took my paperwork, got my weight. There's one lady that sits at a desk on one end of that building and another lady that sits at a desk on the other end. <laughs> at least their air conditioner's working. All right, so she said to just turn left around this building and there should be somebody around here to help me. So I'm gonna take the big turn here, not the short turn. That looks like a loading platform over there. She said I would come back and scale out right there where we were. Well, giving you a look of some southeast Arkansas scenery. something about backing up onto a concrete platform but she said that somebody would be over here to explain that so there's a guy in a little cart oh I see they got storage storage bins up here Stop and see what they want. All right, guys, I'm giving you a shot of it falling out as the trailer goes up. He told me just to dump it right there and then he'd move it where he needs to move it. That's what it looks like. All right, boys and girls, so uh, we've got scaled out there, got my paperwork called dispatch and he told me to head on back to North Little Rock which is kind of what I was thinking I'm only uh, 100 miles from there so um, yeah GPS says it's about an hour and 50 minutes that'll put me getting there about 3.30 3.45 probably won't be anything other than fertilizer at the Oakley yard to get at that point so uh, if you're curious as to where I am because sometimes I get questions about exactly where I was when I'm back in the woodlands I'm on highway Arkansas 212 right now we're gonna go back to highway 65 go through Dumas and then back towards Little Rock. But the Arkansas River is straight ahead there. You probably can't see it, but it's right over there. Okay, more later.